On today's notes, this is what you are going to write down. Our topic is lunar phases. The essential question is, why do we see different phases of the moon throughout its monthly cycle? And as I walk you through these notes, you're going to be uh, making titles, you're going to be numbering your notes, um, having the keywords as maybe those titles. Um, you're going to have bullet points and you're going to have pictures in your notes. When you finish the notes, then in this column right here, you will condense your notes. You will write just the keywords, a question that goes with those keywords, and then you will write the answer to the essential question as a way to summarize your notes down here at the bottom. So a few things that you need to have down about the moon. Uh, we already know that the moon orbits around Earth, and it takes about one month for that to happen, or approximately four weeks. One thing that you do need to know is that the Earth, I'm, I'm sorry, the moon is called Earth's natural satellite. A satellite is anything that orbits around a planet, and since the moon is not man-made, it's natural, we call it the natural satellite. We have lots of man-made satellites that orbit around Earth. We only have one natural satellite, and that is our moon. You also need to have down in your notes that the Earth and the moon only have light because we reflect it from our closest star, which is the sun. This is a typical moon calendar showing that the moon goes through its phases um, once every month, or approximately four weeks. And here are the different lunar phases. As you can see that the moon is looking like it's getting bigger and then getting smaller throughout its cycle, um, you need to know these terms. Uh, as the moon looks like it's going through its growing phase, uh, that is called the waxing phase of the moon. And as the moon looks like it's getting smaller and smaller or shrinking throughout its cycle, we call that the waning phase. Some other terms that you need to know are what the titles of the moon throughout its phases actually look like. You need to know the difference between a crescent moon and a gibbous moon. During its waxing phase, you will see um, a waxing crescent. Crescent means you see less than half of the sunlit side. Then when you see half of the moon or half of the sunlit side, we would call that a first quarter moon. When you see the moon looking like it's more than half, we call that a gibbous moon. And since it's in its growing phase, we call this a waxing gibbous. Until finally we see a full moon. Then as the moon continues to orbit around us a couple days later, we would see a waning gibbous. Waning because it's in its shrinking phase, but we see more than half of the sunlit side of the moon. Then here we would see a third quarter, waning crescent, and this is the waning crescent because it looks like it's getting uh, smaller, uh, in or it, at least it's in its shrinking phase, uh, but we see less than half of it, so that's why we call it a crescent moon. So here's the big question. If the moon actually looks the same as it's orbiting around Earth, why is it that we see different phases of the moon? Why does it look like it's growing and shrinking when it's not actually growing and shrinking? Well, here's the answer. From Earth, we can only see part of the moon's sunlit half, and how much of that sunlit half will depend on what phase of the moon we're seeing. As the moon is orbiting around Earth, it actually always looks half light and half dark. Well, this dotted line is representing the side of the moon that we can see and the side of the moon that we cannot see. So if I were to draw a line in this dotted line here and then cover up the part of the moon I cannot see from Earth, because I can't see around the back side of the moon, I can only see the side of the moon that's facing me. Well, when the moon is here then, I'm only looking at the dark side of the moon. This would be the new moon. As the moon orbits around, I'm going to draw a line on that dotted line and then cross off the part of the moon I cannot see, again, because I can't see the back of the moon. From Earth, when the moon gets here, I'm only looking at a little bit of that sunlit side of the moon. But mostly I'm looking at the dark side. This would be a crescent moon. When the moon gets here, from Earth, I'm looking at half of the light side and half of the dark side. This would be a quarter moon. When the moon gets here, I can see most of the sunlit side but a little of the dark side. This would be the gibbous moon. Once the moon gets to this position, 
Notice again that the sunlit side is always here and the dark side is always here, but I can only see the part of the moon that's facing me. This would be the full moon. Again, the moon orbits around. I can only see the part that's facing me. This would be a gibbous, another quarter, and then when it gets to this position, it looks like the moon is getting less and less, but really, I'm looking at part of the light side, but mostly the dark side. And then when the moon gets back to this position, I'm looking at the whole dark side of the moon, which is what would be a new moon. Here's just another perspective of the same thing. If the sunlight is here, this picture is showing that the moon never actually looks different throughout its monthly cycle. The sunlit side always faces the, moon, the sun, and the dark side always faces away from the sun. But this picture is also showing then, when the moon is here, what do I see from Earth? When the moon is here, what do I see from Earth? Or here, this is what I see from Earth. And again, as the moon continues throughout its monthly cycle, it is how much of the sunlit side I can see from Earth that really de depends on or is what determines the moon's phase. So as you guys have made this moon spinner in your notebook, one of the things you're going to add to this along with your notes is the names of these phases as the moon is or it's showing the moon orbiting around Earth. You can use this page in order to determine what those names are. And then when you're done with all of these notes, again, you're going to go back to this. You're going to condense your notes with keywords and questions and then answer this essential question at the bottom. Why do we see different phases of the moon throughout its monthly cycle?